I don't think any sidestep adventures ever started like this before. It's the best one so far. The best one. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Robert and you're watching Sidestep Adventures. I got Daniel with me back on the channel after too long. I got Cody with me and today we're taking a completely different kind of Sidestep Adventure, a, a water. An aqua adventure. An aqua adventure. <laughs> So we're going to an island that has the ruins of an old house on it that somebody told me is supposedly haunted too. Daniel knows a little bit more about it than I do, so he'll tell you when we go up there. And uh, also, he provided the boat, so yeah, heck well, yeah. You provide the gas money. If not, you're staying here on the island. <sighs> I hope I brought some cash. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. the no shoulders here over here somewhere. Yeah, I was looking at this as we were passing it by. It's like, this is Water Moccasin Island, not Chimney Island. Yeah, it's definitely snake territory. It's also May... What is it? What did you say? Mayflies? Mayflies. Mayflies, yeah. Mayfly Island. Mayfly, they may not. I know Mayfly make me want to go fly fishing. I was just looking to see if you were going to fall. Oh, there it is. Walls and edges up here, so I don't want to walk too far because I can see that one right there. Oh, yeah, ruins of the foundation. It's a big one. Yeah, it is. It is a big chimney. What's well, amazing, it's been standing um, obviously since the house burnt down, but it was built in, I believe, the mid. 20s maybe early 30s somewhere around there and uh burnt down mid 40s um but it was owned by tom houston who started houston peanuts or tom's foods here in columbus um he actually had a bunch of inventions about invent uh, patents about uh, producing peanuts and packaging peanuts and all that kind of stuff it's pretty neat he had a house up here. He had a house in what is now Green Island, which was on the river as well. He had a house up there in the, the mid-40s, which also burnt down, which is kind of crazy. But this is, uh, we call it, I call it Tom's Island or Houston Island. You know, locals may have a different name for it. But as a kid, we used to come out here. There's a, actually a, a small sandbar out there. We'd tie up three, four foot deep and play out there in the summertime. And, you know, kudzu wasn't that bad. As, as it is now. It used to be 20 years ago, you could see everything up here. So this is cool, man. So he made his money making peanuts and uh, then built a little island, island resort in the middle of the Chattahoochee River. And you said earlier that this was the river back then. When Yeah, and, and this, da this lake wasn't dammed up until I believe mid 70s. Um, so back then, all you see out here was just the river channel and there was you know, obviously land everywhere. And straight off that way, which is the Alabama side, was a creek called Hallawaka Creek, which is a big creek body that flowed into the river. And that was the name of this, this house was Hallawaka. Gotcha. Because he named it after the, the creek over there that he could see from his yard, from his front porch. That's cool. So, 
So was it an island originally before they did They it? say it was an island originally. There's not a lot of distance between here and the mainland. So I'm assuming back then there was probably a, like a little walking path to get yeah. to it. But now it is totally surrounded by water. So it's technically an island now. Cool. Let's take a closer look at this chimney. First of all, that's got to be the biggest old standing chimney I've ever seen. Yeah, it's very impressive. Yeah, it is. You gotta watch out through all this kudzu for Joe No Shoulders or what is it? Copper headed rattle moccasins? Cotton headed rattle moccasins. Cotton headed rattle moccasins. Cotton -headed rattle moccasins. All right, I'll get it right one of these days. Now look at this. Oh, there's some this buzzard island now. Yep. There's part of the wall I just stepped on right there, and an old pipe, a gas pipe or something right there too. I'm assuming this was the back side of the house and that yeah. was the front side since the chimney's over here and everything's the it seems to be dug out to be a, a you know like a, a, a inset or how they call it a like a half story or however I don't know how they phrase it but right so is it a log house I mean I see this I've never seen any pictures of it but I'm assuming it was log because of the, the design built in that fireplace and the fact that of where it was yeah for sure that's and that's what it looks frame, like so. The logs would be set in there, there and there. That is too cool. And again, that's a big chimney. And I guess, like Daniel was saying, this is the back of the house. Now that's weird. I would have... I would have expected the uh, the front of the fireplace to be over there on that side, not on this side. So I guess it came out further than I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, I, I was thinking that, that the main majority of the house will be over there yeah. on the bigger side of the island. Right. I've never actually been up here and looked at it, so let's learn something new. But yeah. you can see where all the footings were, like all the main foundation of the house is all right there. Yeah, that's crazy. Because it's got, I mean, you can see where that's been cut out. I saw that. Obviously it did, but that's pretty neat to think it was out here by itself. Yeah. In the 40s, it had electricity running out here. It's too cool. I'll take a closer look down at some of the other ruins, but first we got to look at the chimney here. That is neat. Inset into the fireplace. So you know what, it, it honestly looks like to me that this was the very back of the house, the way that the logs are in the side of the chimney there, yeah. which is weird for where it is and how the land is shaped down here. Yeah, this... I mean, to come back in the wintertime. Right, does kudzu ever die? No, it's back. <laughs> That's interesting the way it's cut right here. So, well, it's, it's really hard to say how this was, but I would have expected a bigger room right here. So maybe it was just over this and they had it on uh, pylons or piers. And as Daniel just said, when I had the camera off, that this island is changing shape. It's still changing shape today. Like when we were coming up here, um, you can see where the sides of the island are eroding away. Yeah, there's no seawall or retention wall on this island. So they're telling what it looked like you know, back in the day before the river came up, but you can see these trees are original out here. So right. it could have had more of a gradual slope down to the water and for down sure. the river. Um, but this lake, especially, there's a lot of islands and land up here that doesn't have seawall protection, erosion protection. And these wake boats are destroying some land up here. It's just awful. So this is definitely a rock wall right here under my feet. It's just all hidden by the kudzu. So again, hard for me to imagine the shape of the house, but you've got a, a rock wall right there and there under my feet this perfectly square cutout and who knows what else you know other foundation pieces and stuff are hidden under this kudzu the vine that ate the south
you know, I'd never guessed that the majority of the island was not where the house was, but they had the best view from this side, so I guess they knew what they were doing. And probably east to west sun exposure, so they didn't get beat up by the sun, too. So if this was built during the Roaring Twenties, can you imagine the parties that might have happened on this island? I mean, that, that'd be yeah. some cool stuff, right? Yeah, the history of it, what, what went on up there. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, so many times we see old chimneys that are in the woods that are just like, uh, you know, sharecroppers, tenant farmers, or early settlers. But this was, this was somebody that had made a business for themselves, made a name for themselves here in Columbus, and uh, obviously was, was very well off. Uh, back in the 20s and, and probably the 30s to have something like this out here and so it's really neat that this just stands as a testament to that history out here as well and the stories that this place could tell I'm sure would be absolutely amazing. Do you remember where you parked the boat? That's right, we came in the boat, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I hope that ain't floated away. Oh, you tied it off, right? No, I thought Cody did. Oh, boy.